Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really really exciting to show you all. It is <laughs> in this huge heavy bag of mine. This is the Lush Magic Hair Bag. Can you see the little bunny? This is my own bag which I took shopping with me the other day at Oxford Street. And this is the Winter Haul. Oh god I've got to put this down. So everything from Lush Winter's 2015 range is in this bag. So yes. Let's get started. So I'm going to start with the messiest thing first. This is in its own little bag because of how messy it is. And if you own one of these already then you know what I'm talking about. It is the Nightwing Jelly. And my word is the messiest, gel messiest jelly I've ever seen. If you go to buy one of these I would strongly recommend you bring like a plastic bag or something because this leaks like no other. It's just like this black kind of purple ink everywhere. Nightwing Jelly is a little bat. Very messy. It's very zesty and limey and very, I smell it and I feel instantly uplifted and kind of energised. So I think that's going to be a really good one for, you know, those cold winter mornings when you're feeling a bit blech. It does kind of smell like coke. But you can smell that zestiness. So it's like lime coke or lemon coke, whatever. They came out with like a zesty flavour. I don't know if they still have, can you still buy coke that's zesty? Coke with a twist or whatever it's called. Or is that Pepsi? I don't know. So continuing with the jellies, I have Santa's Belly Jelly, which I think is the cutest thing to say ever. Santa's Belly Jelly. And it looks like these. And it's got cute, cute, cute little stars inside. And it smells absolutely amazing. It just smells like Christmas. It smells like the So White bath bomb, the So White shower gel. So for fans of So White, you're going to be really happy with this. It smells absolutely incredible. It smells like crisp apples, but then it kind of smells like wine and just, it just smells so like wintry and kind of Christmassy. It's just, I, I used this the other day and oh, it was heavenly and I could smell it on me. It just lingers. It's so nice. Then there is the Christingle body conditioner, which is absolutely phenomenal. It's so uplifting and so invigorating and it kind of reminds me of toothpaste but in a very good way. It's just very minty and fresh, which leads me nicely onto this. This is the salt and peppermint bark scrub and this just reminds me of candy canes. It's just that kind of perfect mint, sweet, yummy smell. I can't think of any way to describe this. Yes, I do apologise if my descriptions of these products aren't much better than mmm, mmm, -hmm. and kind of like, oh, Christmas, because it's overwhelming and that's just, <laughs> it's just like, Christmas! Five gold rings, blah blah blah, which is super, 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 super glittery, or full of golden luster, like, a little bit absolutely everywhere. I know mine has four on them. It did come with five but they're currently broken, broken at the bottom of the bag so I'd recommend you use this by taking it off the string and crumbling one under the tap or in a sieve um, because I can see you swishing this around the bath and them all just breaking off. My best guess is that you use one ring per bath. I mean you could use like the whole thing for your bath if you wanted to but my best guess is that. But I think I'm going to be using mine by halves. So I'll probably end up getting like 10 baths out of this, which I think is great. And that just smells very kind of vanilla -y and warm. Like a warm vanilla smell, not a sweet vanilla smell. So kind of warm, woody, kind of slightly spicy. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, absolutely. Mm. This is the magic of Christmas fun. Looks like this. It's shimmery and sparkly and gorgeous and... It kind of smells smoky and fruity and it's just, oh it's so gorgeous. This one is Juniper Berry, Ylang Ylang and Tangerine Oil. And it's just, it is literally the magic of Christmas. That kind of wonderful smoky, fruity, woody spicy fragrance that you get around Christmas, that is just kind of what I smell. 
This is the First Snow Dusting Powder. This smells like Celebrate Body Lotion, it smells like Golden Wonder Bath Bomb, and it's just very like limey and kind of zesty but with a deep, rich, decadent undertone of it, and that's the cognac oil. It's gorgeous. This is Fairy Dust, and this is just the Snow Fairy Dusting Powder. It's sparkly and shimmery and glittery and sickly sweet and perfect for all those fans of Snow Fairy out there. This is my first bar of Old Father Time, which is just incredible. I've left this out in my room just to throw it into my room and it just it smells like Christmas in my room now. It's so fruity and warm it's just warm and comforting. I, I can't think of how to describe it. It's nostalgic, definitely. And it reminds me of the Magic of Christmas fun bar. I couldn't resist it. This was the soap that I got for my training session. I got myself another one because I just, I love this soap. It's one of my favourite soaps and I think before Christmas is over I will have bought a lot of those soaps because I don't, I don't want it to go away. And fun fact, I wrapped this soap. I wrapped the soap up at work and I'm pretty happy with the wrapping skills because <laughs> I suck at wrapping. My soap wrapping skills at work um, are getting better. For those of you who don't know, I work at Lush Oxford Street. And this one, oh it's so pretty! The soap is just like, if you don't like the smell, buy it because of how pretty it is. I want to photograph it and stare at it and just paint pictures of it, it's so pretty. I just, oh, I just want to stare at you. Apart from the smell, it's just phenomenal. It's possibly one of the most beautiful soaps I've ever seen. This isn't a winter collection item, but I just got another square tin because I wanted to keep my salt and peppermint bark scrub safe. And if you buy one, I highly recommend using these. You can use them for body butters, cuts of soap. This chunk of soap won't fit in here, but I could cut it down if I wanted to take it on holiday with me. You can put shampoo bars in here. I highly recommend if you get a shampoo bar, put it in here. Don't waste your time with a regular circular tin bar because they are just, I just don't like them. I feel like you can fit more things in here and yeah, pro tip. I'm having my first pumpkin spice latte of the season. It's a winter haul video. I have to have a pumpkin spice latte. Gosh, how white did that sound? This is Snow Cake, which is a returning favourite soap. I can't remember how many years this has been at Lush, but it's a favourite and it comes back a lot. Not winter related, but I got a deodorant from Lush. This is Aromico because it just smells amazing. So, this is Yognog soap, which is another best selling soap for Christmas. Dusted with nutmeg and cocoa powder, and it's full of soy yogurt and clove blood oil. It's supposed to be the vegan equivalent of eggnog. Yognog. And it smells like a cinnamon pudding with like vanilla custard or something. And this one, this year, is very creamy. So very moisturising and skin softening. This is Reindeer Rock, which again isn't a new soap. However, last year it was red and this year it's kind of a deep purple colour. And this smells like the comforter. If you're sad that the Godmother soap got discontinued, I would highly recommend this because it's very similar and it smells like the comforter. So, comforter fans. It's gorgeous and purple and it's got like sparkles in it. It's just and it's got the traditional um, reindeer rock carvings in it. It's a Scandinavian inspired soap I believe, but it smells gorgeous. It's got lingonberries and cassis absolute in it. This is a cranberry festive face mask and I'm so excited to try this because I had a little bit when I was at my training and it was absolutely gorgeous. It smells like cranberries but I can smell the fennel in there, it's just a very fresh Kind of almost zingy cranberry smell. It's gorgeous. And this face mask is supposed to be very good for brightening and freshening up kind of dull, tired looking winter skin and very good for um, the morning after a big kind of Christmas party. I have the Snowman Shower Jelly, which is a returning favourite. He's a little snowman. Hat, a nose, a scarf, and a billy. He smells like the carrot reusable blah 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 that comes out at Easter, so if you're fans of that, grab this. He's very zesty and fresh. 
some reason he reminds me of like wrapping paper and snow but he's adorable and he's very refreshing so I think this would be good for if you've had a very heavy night or you need to be woken up in the morning or you want something that's very comforting but light I think he's going to be good for that there's a lot of water in there he probably peed himself a little bit out of excitement this is Santa's lip scrub, bright red lip scrub with sugar, jojoba oil as usual it's got edible red hearts in there which I'm not sure if you can see and it smells like cherry cola then there is the Santa baby lip tint which I believe in past forms has been in a little tin but they reformulated it and put it into a very convenient lip stick um, which I prefer I hate those little tins and this just reminds me of bubble grub that's all I am smelling bubble grub bubble bar um, which they released for Mother's Day 2015 and it's not bad it's great I love bubble grub I think it's supposed to be kind of cinnamon and cherries and dates and aniseed which I can smell I just can't get over the fact that it smells like bubble grub it is a really vibrant bright red with a bit of a pink to it um, and I have worn this at work and it's beautiful this is the magic wand reusable bubble bar which again I think was around last year and it's supposed to be snow fairy's magic wand she's supposed to have her magic wand and her fairy dust so yeah but it's really cute very snow fairy that classic snow fairy smell tons of silver luster on it it's beautiful though it's so cute this is the icing on the cake roulade and a roulade is a shower smoothie which is just a very creamy conditioning body soap and much more nourishing and this smells like ponche shower gel and it's amazing it's just it smells so good I just want to eat it it's so nice this is the favourite rose jam shower gel and this smells like the rose jam bubble rune it smells like pearl massage bar and rose argan body conditioner and it's everyone's favourite I believe it's one of the best sellers every Christmas it's like a deep adult sophisticated scent which is obviously nice because not everyone likes snow fairy this is the kind of candy floss smell and it's another cult Lush product. Um, I can't remember how many years this has been coming out but it's a huge huge Lush favourite. I think it's been around as long as I've been a Lush fan which has been like 10 years I think. I got the Celebrate Body Lotion which is lime, orange oil and cognac oil and this is gorgeous. It's just very zesty, refreshing but deep and kind of decadent. It's so gorgeous. And I'm going to be buying pots of these before Christmas is over. This is Butter Bear, which is the same smell as Butterball. And this was Lush's most popular product last year, and it's just, it's so cute. It's a little bear. Um, and he's just very moisturising and softening, full of cocoa butter and sheer butter, I believe. This is Sparkly Pumpkin, which kind of smells a bit... Kind of just reminds me of, like pumpkin spice it's really nice I can't wait to use this one it's gorgeous and very very glittery my hands are now covered in glitter cinders bath bomb this is another favorite Christmas one designed to warm me up on a really cold day it's cinnamon and gorgeous and just very warming and kind of spicy to me this cinders from this year smells a lot lot stronger so I'm very happy with that because I like my smells to be very potent, especially if I love them, and this is the perfect strength. This is So White Bath Bomb, which is the same smell as Santa's Belly, and So White Shower Gel. Another popular favourite, smells like crisp apples, very fresh and gorgeous. And it's got pink, red inside, and turns your water red and pink like an apple 
This is the Snowman Fun, and this smells like the Snowman Shower Jelly, which smells like the carrot reusable blah blah blah. So if you're a fan of that, get this. That's that same very refreshing smell, bergamot in there, uplifting. And you can make a little snowman out of it. This is Golden Wonder, which is a little present and has some little presents inside. Um, it's gorgeous. It's the same fragrance as First Snow Dusting Powder and Celebrate Body Lotion. This is another favourite that's returning. And I feel like the cognac oil is more present in this form, which I love. This is Father Christmas Bath Bomb. Same smell as Snow Fairy. Absolutely beautiful. I love Cinder so much that I got two. This one is possibly the most cute thing ever. It's Peeping Santa and it smells like Strawberry Feels Forever Massage Bar and De Fluff Shaving Cream, I think. It's a very creamy strawberry smell. This is my uh, Unbroken Beautiful Bar Humbug. This is designed to smell like Bertie Soap and smell like licorice all sorts. And I just want to make a claim right now. Don't write this one off. Just because you don't like licorice or Bertie Soap from Lush, don't write it off. This smells beautiful and I hate, hate licorice. And I'm not a fan of Bertie Soap. I just, I can't get behind it. But this smells so gorgeous. This is like, it's more... I would say if you're a fan of lemons, go for this one. Because all I can smell is just that very zesty lemon smell. It's 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 beautiful and it smells amazing. And I'm not a licorice fan, so proof. It kind of reminds me of the comforter, but it's purple and glittery and smells nothing like it, so Ooh, not winter related, but I wanted a new shampoo. So I got Copperhead. And to bring out my red colour and just warm colours in my hair, keep my hair shiny and nice looking throughout winter, Copperhead Shampoo Bar. And to wake me up in the winter because it sounds like coffee and I need something to wake me up in the winter. I need. This is Luxury Lush Pud, which is beautiful. And I think the Experimenter was inspired by this because this was like the original one that had all the colours in it. This smells like the Twilight Bath Bomb which is available all year round so if you're a fan of Twilight definitely get this. This is another really popular one. It's Luxury Lush Pud so it's designed to be with like a little Christmas pudding but absolutely mental and bright and get this one because it looks amazing when it goes in the water. I'm not the biggest fan of Twilight, it's not the bath bomb that I always go for, but I do like it and I love this. Um, I rarely buy Twilight throughout the year but as soon as this comes out at Christmas I buy like 10 of them. This is Dashing Santa which is full of tangerine oil, sweet orange oil I think and it's very zesty and uplifting and so cute and it is absolutely amazing when you put it in the water so I had to get one. Only a couple of items left so this is Candy Mountain Bubble Bar Snow Fairy smelling gorgeous silver lustre on it and that sweet kind of candy floss smell. These are two bubble bars that basically smell the same. This one smells more strongly of Snow Fairy this one's a bit more gentle and I know that there's just people who are more, who are fans of Candy Mountain, so they have to bring it back for those people. And a lot of people who don't like the reusable bubble bar sticks. So I believe that is why there's both of those. Like Candy Mountain is like the iconic one that just comes out every year. Let's go to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Holly Go Lightly, which is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favourite bu bubble bars kind of reminds me of Christmas trees and Christmas cake and it's beautiful and it's got silver luster on the outside of it it's green which you can kind of see it poking through gorgeous holly leaf 
and when you break it in half it is a really rich holly leaf green colour, it's beautiful. This is inspired by the character Holly Go Lightly from Breakfast at Tiffany's and the silver lustre is inspired by all the jewellery. This is the Snow Angel Bath Melt which again is another popular Christmas product. It's glittery, Ooh, very very glittery, shimmery, lustery and smells like marzipan. It smells a lot like snow cake and smitten hand cream which is discontinued. I uh, got another luxury lush pud. This is the Santa Fun which is like red, gold, black, yellow so you can make it look Santa. Very very cute. And this smells like Christmas Eve bubble bar. It's got the Jasmine Absolute and the Ylang Ylang oil. If you are upset that uh, Christmas Eve bubble bar is not coming back, which I know I am, don't fear. Santa's fun is here. That was so clever. Santa's fun smells like Christmas Eve blah 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 so. Yay! And then this is Snakes and Ladders fun. It's got the yellow, the green, the red and then the kind of turquoisey blue green colour. And you can make any fun out of this. You can make any animals or whatever but I believe the idea is that you create a little snakes and ladders board and you can actually kind of play snakes and ladders with this which I think is kind of cute. I can't for the life of me figure out or remember the smell of this. It's buchu oil, bergamot oil, cypress oil and olibanum oil which is basically frankincense so it's a kind of woody, smoky, citrusy smell. It's gorgeous. And then the last soap is Baked Alaska, which is, I think last year it was the best selling soap, except I think it was called Snow Globe? I can't remember. I bought this soap last year and I can't remember the name of it. How bad. Um, but it's got like chunks of brightly coloured bits in it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got lemon myrtle and grapefruit oil in there, so very uplifting and zingy and fresh. Another great one for using the morning after a heavy night of Christmas partying and festivities. I'm just going to use this um, in the morning to wake me up because winter mornings are not my favourite. Um, the darkness, the cold, I just find it very very hard to get up. I find it hard to get up all year round but then winter comes and it's just like I want to stay in bed, it's dark outside so this helps. And it smells like Big Bang Bubble Bar, which is a mouthful. So if anyone likes that, definitely recommend this. It's beautiful. If you just like lemon smells, very fresh grapefruit smells, this is going to be perfect for you. And this is the Snow Melt Bath Oil, which is peppermint and lemon oil and cocoa butter, I believe. But it's just very refreshing, awakening. I feel like if you wanted to give any of your Christmas products a little refreshing kick, you could pop this into it. Or use it on its own. It's beautiful. And I got two of these. And to stop them melting I had to wrap them up in tissue paper. And then finally, the icing on the cake, which I know is a Lush product. <laughs> I got a brand new product yesterday literally brand new, just came out. None of my colleagues at Lush know the PLU of this product because it's literally that brand new. We don't even have any information on this product. So I am very happy to be able to reveal this is the product here. It hasn't even got its packaging yet. Ta -da! It's a soap paper and it says, Dear Santa, I've been very good. It smells like vanillary. For fans who like Vanillary from Lush, Vanilla Delight, this smells the same as that. This is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so happy to have my hands on it. It's amazing. It's so good. I believe it's called Santa's Letter and it's kind of got the letter shape and it's so cute. So that is the brand new product and that is my haul done with. Wow. That has taken ages. I believe the products are available 
on the 2nd of October in Lushes across across the UK. I'm not sure about the rest of the world. I believe the rest of the products are coming on the 10th of October to other countries. I can't be sure of that, but I'm going to go with that for now. I'm sorry if I've got that information wrong. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions or anything, feel free to comment below. I'll post all my social media links below as always. Thank you so much for watching. Take care everyone. I will see you soon. Bye!